Today I will be painting a la prima, wet into wet. The topic of this lesson is ballet. The composition features beautiful poses of the ballet dancers. The piece will be done on a round piece of paper, and I will show you how to paint human figures on an airy background. Here is the watercolor I will have by the end of this video. I already moistened the reverse side of the paper with water. Place it on the plastic board and now apply clean water with a soft, natural hair brush on the front side of what will be the painting. For the color of the faces, I'm using a mix of burnt umber, burnt sienna, a laser in crimson, and a bit of Fathalo blue. This mix looks quite dark on white paper, but you have to remember that when the watercolor paint dries, it becomes about 20 to 30% lighter. I will be using the wet into wet watercolor painting technique when depicting the dancers' dresses and adding the background. You can see that I am painting small details with quite a sizable round brush. The paint pigment is only put on the tip of the brush. It contains very little water, and that's what makes it a dry brush. In combination with moist paper, it's possible to paint such tiny details like the eyes, nose, and mouth. To keep the paper moist, I can add more water on its reverse side, so a thin layer of water will be trapped between the sheet of paper and the plastic board. One of the main rules of watercolor painting is to work from light to darker tonal values. For example, I started painting this dress with its lighter tones. You may also notice that white highlights were preserved by painting around them. When the light underpainting for the dress is in place, I add darker brush strokes depicting the folds and wrinkles of the fabric. Any object looks better in watercolor when it is painted with a cool and warm contrast. You may notice that the folds of the dress have warmer and cooler color tints. With two figures in place, I can now paint the third sitting figure. I also start with its head using slightly darker tonal values because when the paint dries, it will appear lighter. When painting portraits, even on a small scale, the knowledge of human anatomy plays an important role. If you feel that you have gaps in your knowledge of human anatomy for artists, you can fix it by taking an Anatomy Masterclass, the online course for fine artists, where you can learn all you need to know about the main bones and muscles, as well as proportions of a human body. If you already have a good understanding of human anatomy for artists and would like to learn more advanced topics of how to draw portraits and figures from life, memory, and imagination, then Life Drawing Academy will be particularly useful for you. This online academy is suited for students who already have some basic drawing skills and would like to bring their figurative drawing to a higher level. With all the dancer figures complete, it is time to take care of the background. The color for this background is mixed from two pigments, sepia and ultramarine. These colors are on the opposite sides of the color wheel, a warm and a cool one. When mixed together, they produce a nice-looking dark neutral gray. To unite the ballet dancer's figures with the background, in some places I go over the figures with the light tint of the background. I hope you have learned new things about watercolor painting as well as how an anatomy masterclass and the Life Drawing Academy can help you improve your art skills. Here is the finished artwork. I hope you enjoyed watching the process of its creation 
and have learned new things about watercolor painting techniques.